Hablar, hablar. Un video de la transmisión, el otro, ¿qué es? ¿Qué pasó? Yo no soy malo, parece. ¿Eh? ¿Necesitas algo? ¿Qué te puedo ayudar? <laughs> All these trucks are equipped with uh, DT12 transmissions and if you have a 2014 or newer Cascadia, you probably have a DT12 transmission. Um, DT12 transmissions are aromatic transmissions, they are um, um, very easy to drive and you don't have to deal with shifting and plus they actually are um, better in improving fuel economy since the computer decides when it is the specific time to do the shifting. But this doesn't mean that these transmissions are exempt for repairs. This transmission still requires the regular service than any mechanical component requires on these heavy duty trucks. As for example, I'm going to show you this case on this specific truck I have here. This truck had a DT12 transmission and the problem was then it ran out of oil. So, you know, when things run out of oil, something bad is going to happen. And in this case, the full transmission got completely destroyed and the housing is destroyed as well because there is no lubrication. So uh, lubrication is very important for these mechanical components since they are 24-7 under duty. So especially when you are hauling a lot, the amount of temperature that a transmission produces is higher than normal. That's the reason why they need transmission fluid and a cooling system. So usually the cooling system goes all the way to the radiator and then comes back to the um, to the transmission. But some transmission don't require that depending on the components. Some of them have, uh, have uh, inner coolers inside the transmission. So there's many different things to say about transmission. But anyway, um, the point is then, if you have a DT12 transmission, a truck with DT12 transmission, you better inspect the oil level. Or if you see any leaks on your truck, they are coming from the transmission, you have to repair that. Because if you don't do that, you are going to end up with a problem then it's going to cost you a lot of money. As you know, DT12 transmissions are very expensive. DT12 transmissions are around like $10,000 use. Probably cheaper if you get them from, uh, from different areas, you can get them like $8,000, $5,000. But $10,000 is the average, up to $20,000, which is the most expensive one from the dealer, uh, brand new or rebuilt. Um, that, is, that is a lot of money. So um, to protect that, to protect that amount of money, I mean, to protect yourself for, uh, of spending that amount of money, you have to always inspect the transmission level. It's a very basic thing to do on automatic transmission. To inspect the transmission fluid level, you have to go underneath the vehicle and uh, there you're gonna have a plug on the passenger side of the transmission and that is where you are going to open it to inspect the level. It's a 12 millimeter allen if I am correctly um, and there if it needs oil you add it to it. It takes about around like four gallons of oil something like that and uh, that will keep your transmission healthy. Most of the problems with DD12 transmissions are not related to lubrication. Um, most of the problems are related to electronic components and shifting. And also all the lines then transport lubrication from the coolers back to the transmission are important because over the time they start to wear over the time, probably the chassis, they start chaffing against the chassis and you know, it's, gonna, it's going to cause a leak and that leak is going to cause a big, big expense, which is a broken transmission. So a vice thing is very important to all of you is this. If you have a truck that is 2014 and up, and if you have a DT12 transmission, it's very important that you inspect the transmission level at least once a year, at least once a year, which is like, that is too long to inspect the transmission level. At least you have to do it every three months or every six months. Um, so that way, in case you are missing transmission fluid, you add to it, and if Next time you are missing transmission fluid again, you have to inspect for leaks. Transmission leaks are very obvious because it's oil, it's very thick oil, it's kind of like differential oil, the one that this transmission requires. So you are, you're gonna see that fluid somewhere, so it's pretty easy to spot it if there is a leak. 
<laughs> but it is just a small video that I wanted to do about uh, digital transmissions. Uh, these transmissions are very common nowadays. Most trucks that are 2016 and up, they have digital transmissions. And probably your truck has a digital of transmission. Be sure to stay tuned on my channel where I'm gonna have more videos about digital of transmission, how to maintain these transmissions and how to prevent problems. Since we know that these transmissions are very expensive, we have to try to keep track on these transmissions so we don't spend extra money on maintaining these transmissions. So I hope you like this video. Uh, share it with anybody that has or owns a truck with a digital of transmission. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel.